Welcome back to Crystal Clear! I'm Ostrich Fox, and the end of Steven Universe is finally here. Earlier today, Cartoon Network announced the schedule for the remainder of the series, with the final 10 episodes of Future airing throughout March. Accompanied was a new trailer that as smoothly will be used as a general promo that will run on television as these episodes air, much like the Future Is Here promo. So as always, we're going to run through this promo frame by shattered frame, as we drive ourselves as deep into insanity as Steven is currently at. Of course, spoiler warning, if you do not want to know any potential details for Steven Universe future, please click off now. With all that said, let's dive in. Now we can assume footage is only used from the first handful of episodes, as the end of the promo advertises the first two episodes airing March 6th, so the footage is limited, but allows us to try to predict and have a better understanding of what can happen. I don't believe it's silly these two episodes containing the promo, but it's also not straying from beyond that range. We start with Connie facetiming Steven, remarking that she's been worried about him. Assumably, Connie could have caught wind of Steven's recent behavior. The events of Prickly Pear likely from Pearl of Connie's still sword training, plus Pearl is seen on her phone a lot now. And the events of Bluebird and Little Graduation is also a huge reason for concern, on top of Steven quitting his job at Little Homeschool. Let's not forget from the Dove shorts that Connie and the Gems do have social media. Shorts that Sugar confirmed are indeed canon. So yeah, Connie is definitely in the loop, as much as she can be anyways. Also, notice that Steven's hand is glowing pink, meaning for whatever reason, he's been set off emotionally. Perhaps the Gems have been on his case about his emotions. Or maybe the very next thing we see gives us more context as to why Steven would seemingly be pink out of nowhere. Steven is seen clenching in fear, as an unidentified object closes in on him. The green background indicates he's somewhere outside, potentially at a homeschool, for example. However, the next shot finds Steven in deep space, falling from his house which is floating in midair. I believe these two shots, while not exactly back to pack, are a part of a nightmare Steven's suffering from. It's not actually happening. This is accompanied later in the trailer as his house seems to open a trap door of sorts, which could lead to the falling. We haven't had one of those deadly dream sequences in a while, but I think, especially with Steven's current mental state, feeling like everyone's leaving him behind, he would have one occur. Whatever's falling on him could be the house, or maybe Little Homeworld's giant windmill, representative of the weight of everything collapsing in on him, while falling from the house could be representative of Steven feeling out of touch with his loved ones. Falling dreams also have a real-life precedent that I believe is being adapted into the show. Falling is an indication of insecurity instabilities, and anxieties. You are feeling overwhelmed and out of control in some situation in your waking life. This may reflect the way you feel in your relationship or in your house environment. You have lost your foothold and keep with the hustle and bustle of daily life. When you fall, there is nothing you can hold on to. You more or less are forced towards this downward motion without any control. This loss of control may parallel a waking situation in your life. Falling dreams also reflect a sense of failure or inferiority in some circumstance or situation. It may be the fear of failing in your job or school, loss of status, or failure in love. You feel shameful and a loss of sense or self-esteem. You are unable to keep up with the status quo and feel that you don't measure up. Such a horrendous dream that hits too close to home would definitely bother Steven for the rest of his day, and leaving him vulnerable enough to slip into his pink form just from thinking about it. Trying to figure out what it means, what to do with his life, and it all gets to him. And we literally see the boy waking up later in the trailer, so yeah, nightmare kinda confirmed. Next up, Steven is seen seemingly slamming himself into the ground nearby his house, forming a crater as he looks distressed, yet empty. However, we can quickly read the subtext and figure out what's going on. Steven in a nice dress and tux? Check. Telling objects of misfortune? Check. But what are these objects? Well, I spy with my little eye a destroyed acoustic guitar, which Steven is seen strumming at the end of the future opening as Connie sits next to him, a shattered glass of jam, calling to mind jam buds, a session and song special with Steven and Connie, a broken plate, picnic basket, picnic blanket, and a bouquet of flowers. Yeah, something happened with Connie. Something terrible. Although I'm sure Connie herself is physically fine, the point is clear. Steven and Connie are going to hit a rough patch. Maybe not a definitive breakup, though that matches the pattern Steven's future is going in with Steven's luck and mental health, but certainly, at the very least, an argument that results in Steven destroying everything as he switches into his pink hue. Now, last year, Rebecca Sugar did do an interview on Cartoon Network Latin America, and when asked the question, Will Steven and Connie ever get married? She responded with this. That's a spoiler. I can't really talk about that. 
please keep watching the show. <laughs> hmm, perhaps a spoiler because the relationship will come to an abrupt halt before they even get to the point of popping the question? Or does Steven get so desperate enough to have someone around that he proposes to Connie despite their young age? Which is a rumor that's been floating around, but honestly, let's really think about it. Steven truly doesn't have a concept of romance, but he's put on a wedding for Garnet, something that he knows is representative of everlasting love. And we know that Steven already sees himself marrying Connie, as he referred to himself as first boy in the hypothetical of her becoming president in Steven's birthday. So Steven jumping the shark and proposing to Connie doesn't seem too far-fetched in my opinion. Now I know some people may think it is far-fetched on the basis of, come on, Steven wouldn't do that, that's way too extreme, but look where he's at right now! He's not well! Of course he would make such an impulsive decision! He doesn't know any better! He just wants to feel good! Feel anything than the numbness and emptiness that eats at him, because at this point, he likely is either feeling numb or just bad. Also, come on, if y'all are in high school or ever been in high school, you may know that it's not too uncommon for at least one couple to get hitched before they graduate or shortly after graduation. At the very least, getting engaged. I know friends who have seen it, it is extreme, but it is within the realm of how Steven is feeling. Either way, I can see this being Steven coming on way too strong, and as a result, he's a heartbroken mess. The final straw that breaks the camel's back. Though I'm sure by the end of the series, Steven and Connie will be just fine. But I know corrupted Steven fans are rejoicing, sick monsters. Just kidding, you guys know I support that theory too. And in fact, after this breakdown, check out my video on what could happen that sets off the corruption because this trailer may be playing into it. So let's continue. Next up, Steven is seen running with his pink aura, producing the same ghosting effect it did in Guidance with Smoky Quartz, confirming this is an ability unique to the pink diamond gemstone and not that particular fusion opening up its own unique ability due to pink's power. Something that was the topic of debate for a quick second. Assumably, this is Steven running away from home, or maybe running towards his home given later context, but why is he in the forest? Well, perhaps this has something to do with Jasper, the kindergarten has been that resides there and left the door open for Steven to visit in the future. Later in the trailer, we actually see Steven damage a tree out of sheer anger, a direct contradiction to the end of Future's first episode, where he went out of his way to heal a tree that was affected in his battle with Jasper. Fast forward a little bit more, and we see Steven, still in the woods, who have destroyed trees all around around him, as he's no longer pink, or not yet pink, experiencing blowback as smoke and debris fly past him. I would assume this is the work of Jasper. I can see the two easily blowing steam in the forest by wrecking trees after Steven comes to her feeling like there's nowhere left to go. However, something happens, again, potentially fusion as I speculated, which would spread corruption to Steven, or maybe some sort of damage to Steven's hand for whatever reason. Anyways, something throws him way out of his comfort zone, which could prompt the shot of him running as he lacks a jacket. This could bridge into the next shot at the 8 second mark as Steven runs into his home, Garnet sitting stoic with her arms crossed, Amethyst on the stairs looking worried, and Pearl with a similar worried expression on her phone. I believe this is after Steven runs away from his family and experiences whatever happens with Jasper, running back into his home and heading not for his room, but maybe a war pad, maybe Rose's room for some weird reason, or something else entirely. Something corrupty. The gems are clearly surprised as he bursts into the house as Pearl goes out for Steven, but Garnet's expression has me thinking she could have anticipated this sprint. But back to the corrupty part, as Steven runs in, one of his hands is in his jacket pocket, clearly covered, as if it's intentional. Steven himself clearly alarmed. Perhaps he's not heading to a war pad, but his bathroom. The first scene in future was him healing a corrupted gem in his bathroom with the diamond essence and his own healing spit. If for whatever reason, maybe after fusing with a gem that still retains corruption, like Jasper, he finds himself corrupting, starting at his hand, and makes a mad dash to try to heal himself, but will inevitably find no avail. As Steven's pink powers worsen, he declares, LEAVE ME ALONE! And fans who have been in the up and up know where they may have heard this audio before, but yes, Steven is definitely latching out the gems as they try to intervene and figure out what's been going on with them. However, for the colors to become completely pink, this could be the result of Steven's aura, much like Blue Diamond's aura, or White Diamond's ability to literally puppet people. If that's the case, Steven may actually force the gems to leave him alone, against their will, as a result of his aura. After after all, Steven's aura helped reach yellow and blue in the mindscape, but I think it would be seen in a completely different light if he demands the gems to leave him alone and it works, because Pink's aura causes gems to obey Steven's every demand when activated, which could have been why the diamonds gave in to Steven so easily. Or it just causes the windows and mug to shatter as we see later in the trailer. Or both. Steven, glowing pink in a hospital gown, limping out of a chair, is seen with something enlarged in his 
inside. I really don't know what to say beyond this could be tied to his shifting powers acting out of control. It does very much remind me of cat fingers and how that spread throughout his body. But long story short, we all know that I think this plays a role in his corruption because why would something grow out of his side? Try to think of a logical explanation that doesn't result in Steven going from this to that. I dare you. I nah, 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 I'm playing. I'm, I'm not that amped and passionate. <laughs> But beyond theory fuel, I believe Steven may get examined by Connie's mother, Dr. Priyanka Maheshwaran, leading to the two to try and get to the bottom of Steven's issues. Which brings us to the shot at the end of the trailer, where the events of Diamond Days flash before Steven's mind. Why? Simply put, and this is completely no jokes, 100% serious, a lot of fans have speculated that Steven is suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder due to the events of the original series. And well, yeah, I think that makes perfect sense. What he's been through would traumatize anyone, but these events in particular, the string of near-death experiences he faced back-to-back -back on Homeworld, may cause Steven to actually confront the Diamonds, talk to them about his unresolved complicated feelings towards them, and their actions that contribute to where he finds himself now. Their family, they adore him, but is it really that simple with everything they've done? Not just to the entire universe, but to Steven directly, the countless of days he probably lived in fear, worried that the Diamonds would eventually come to the planet, and when they did, it it almost cost the Earth everyone's life. I know a lot of online critics like to taunt the series and say it forgives tyrannical rulers, but if Steven is feeling some type of way about the diamonds and the events of Diamond Days, which seems to be the case here, I think all those rant videos may have the show talk directly to them very soon. Steven throws up a diamond shield in front of Pearl. Again, we unfortunately know the context of this. In the midst of the Crystal Gems intervention, his powers grow further out of control. We also see Steven shaking on the steps on the way to his room, which I believe goes into the leave me alone. We also see Steven in a canoe, in pink mode, definitely spiring. It's pretty straightforward. I think this was actually set him on the path of Jasper's footsteps. In the actual context, this may be after he runs away from home, he tries to clear his head, only to fail. Steven clenches his head in pain. I think this is separate from his nightmare sequence. The blue light indicates it may be coming from his TV, perhaps revisiting Rose's tape that she left for him. Maybe it's something else. Maybe it is a part of his nightmare sequence. And last but not least, the trailer brings itself full circle with the scene of Steven on the phone with Connie, revealing his clothes are actually ripped to shreds. I assume this could be the episode that opens up with his nightmare. Perhaps Connie calling Steven after their disastrous date goes awry. Maybe Connie doesn't show up, but I do believe there's gonna be a face-to-face -face breakup. I don't believe all this would happen because Connie didn't show up. But again, it's a possibility. Clearly, I've been wrong before. Only time will tell. But as always, these are just my thoughts and I wanna hear yours. What do you think? What shook you the most about this trailer? And where do you see the story going? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below or tweet your thoughts at RyanTubleVids. And for more of my own thoughts, you can find me at Osric Fox. We're also on Instagram. Help that out of a girl by either becoming a member of this channel or supporting us over at Patreon. Link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please sort of like and subscribe to the Roundtable for more great cartoon content. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have an awesome day. Osric Fox, signing out.